All right, guys, welcome back to scouting season. It's uh, day number five. B Mac and I are up here on uh, one of our favorite lookout points. We hit this earlier this year, I think on day two, and we saw a lot of bucks. So we came back to scope it out, see if we can't learn more a little bit about the deer and their patterns, and also just look for new bucks. It's first light. I haven't even got the caps off the Vortex Razor. And we've got a big group of bucks already spotted across here. So I'm going to take advantage of first light and do some glassing. Hopefully I can get some phone scope footage for you guys to share. Just so you know, we get up at 2.45 a.m., hit the trailhead at 4 a.m. <clears throat> it is right now How 6. Long? So just about two hours just about of two hours. And we're over 9,000 feet of elevation. So <laughs> good little workout before most people even crack their first little eyelid for the morning yeah most of you guys are still asleep some of you guys are out there working hard hopefully it'll pay off for you guys and hopefully this could help motivate some of you guys to get out and scout i mean it's a lot of fun it's great exercise it's beautiful up here i was telling brian it's just unfair that we get to come up here and and see uh just how cool it is and how pretty it is up here in this high country Day six of scouting season. Day five was just yesterday. And uh, first light now and I'm back at it. I'm not quite where I wanna be. I didn't really uh, sum up yesterday on the vlog, but we saw a lot of bucks, some new bucks, which is cool, and a few good ones. So I'm back at it today, just trying to learn more trying to learn as much as I can about their habits and patterns and just where they're hanging out and which bucks are gonna be the ones we wanna go after come opening weekend. I'm almost, almost to where I wanna be, but I've gotta to get to the top of this hill. And there's just no easy way up. <laughs> Everything up here is steep. But I'm gonna get up on top, put the Vortex Razor out, and uh, show you guys some bucks. We're looking well over a mile and a half away and it's just too far. So I'm gonna come up here, try to get a little closer for you guys uh, and try to get a better look on these bucks and just see exactly what they are. So to the top we go. The big buck spotted. Had him spotted at first light and then uh, kind of out of nowhere this, this single buck just came out way above them all. And uh, he's sweet. He's a big, old, mature buck with the 4x4 frame, and then it looks like his back fork on his left side, like either has a cheater or just kind of a, a like a tripod. But it's sweet. Um, definitely an old buck, like big body, big gut. And he's just feeding on this hillside right now, and I'm getting some video with the uh, phone scope. It's pretty sweet. Check this out. I got the Vortex Razor attached to the phone scope. And we're able to get some footage of them right there on the phone. How cool is that?
Well, that was a good morning. I, I did go and check my trail camera, but nothing good was hitting it. The trail camera is close to where those bucks are, but kind of, uh, I didn't really want to put the trail camera where the bucks have been because I'd spook them out. Anyways, I'm coming down this ridge and uh, me, Casey, and Brian, we've been talking about camping up here for the hunt. Somebody had the same idea, who knows if it was for the hunt or not, but I don't know who came up here with all this stuff, but check this out. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> kind of cool, but kind of creepy. Look at all this camp. Somebody ha either had or started to build some type of tree house. Look at that. It's crazy when you find stuff like this. Sometimes I wonder if somebody just wanted to live the rugged lifestyle or I mean camps like this are usually usually have to do with uh, marijuana grows out in the mountains people will find a water source and uh, grow marijuana I do not know what to think about this place I mean look at all this stuff everything from hammers stove pipes aluminum siding and uh, if you look up you can see there was some structure there's some rope way up there too not sure what that would have been but I mean this person guy whoever had to do a lot of work to get this stuff up here I mean he was living pretty good he's got a griddle he's eating spam tiles I mean this stuff is not light you know this is sink of some kind insulation more glass tiles these are actually pretty nice if they weren't all dirty and nasty I could probably use those but uh yeah I mean this isn't like a somewhere you can hike to real easy there's no trails here and uh, you can see just how thick it really is I mean look at this stuff so for someone to get all this stuff up here even if it was with horses or something like that it was still a ton of work look at all these nails whole jar full of nails oh and a putty knife now he's got screws a putty knife it's hard to say how long ago this was. I mean, you can see some of the cans. You can recognize some of the bottles and cans of food, but super sketchy. Like, I don't know what to think of this. I don't know if someone's just living the mountain man lifestyle. Sometimes you see crazy stuff like this and it could be like a marijuana grow, like I said. But this, no one's living here. No one has been here for a while. But I've kind of, I've kind of like looked around and everywhere I look, there's just new stuff, new garbage. It's all over. But I don't understand why this stuff is rolled up like that. And then everything was kind of piled up over here. So I wonder if this ever got completed or if it was just in the beginning stage and then someone said screw it and left it all up here tons of garbage I mean I feel like I can make a fortune just recycling all this stuff pretty crazy guys pretty wild what you can come across when you're just out here hiking around the mountains you never know what you're gonna run into walking up on something like this kind of like eerie you think someone's gonna jump out of the tree and try to like stab you well, I'm gonna pack up and head down, but I know if I'm ever up here in an emergency and I need a pan or some like a funnel with a pipe going down it, I can just come here and get it. So this is this is my secret stash now. <laughs> oh weird. It's too bad they left all this garbage up here to rot away. If you're going to pack it up here, you should pack it down, right? What you pack into the wilderness, pack out your garbage. This guy doesn't believe that. 
Good or bad? What do you guys think? What What do you think this is? I'd like you guys to comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of a place like this. If you think it was someone just living like a mountain man. Or uh, if you think it's something different. Anyways, like the video, comment, share it. Let's see what you guys come across when you go hiking. Tell us uh, if you've found anything like this before. Just found this deer bone right here. It's a leg bone. Honestly, it doesn't look that big and I can see some rib cage down here, but I wanted to see if maybe I can find a skull. Look. So you got some bones there, over there. There's a lower jaw right under that log. Oh yeah, there's a skull. It's just a doe. Check that out. It's the doe skull. Pretty crazy how it's all weathered away. Nature's way of European mount right there. It's got big teeth. Looks like it was a, a healthy doe. Wonder if a cougar got it. Makes sense. Looks like it was kind of buried up right there underneath that pine tree. But uh, yeah, that's day six, guys. We'll get back with you on day seven. Um, and just so you know, we have all the links to our sponsors and our partners, like Horn Hunter Backpacks, Vortex Optics, and Hoyt. And uh, anybody that, any of the products that we use in these videos, you can check out just by looking at the links in the description below. Plus, Hush Apparel. Got a little store with the uh, Get Hush and stuff. So check that out at gethushin.com. And we will catch up to you guys probably in a day or two. Go scouting. <laughs>